Lip Sync is now available in Kling AI. All you need to do is upload your audio file and hit this Lip Sync button. And it works really, really well. We'll take a look at everything that you need to know about the Lip Sync feature and all the different ways that you can use it. Let's log into Kling AI and go to the AI video interface. First thing we'll need is a base video for the AI to add the Lip Sync to. I'm going to use image to video and upload this photo I generated in mid journey. The easiest video to lip sync to is going to be a close up shot of someone's face with their lips clearly visible. In the prompt, enter something like the woman is speaking. Let's hit that generate button. The person is facing us with a clear view of their lips moving around. To use lip sync, click on this match mouth type button. The AI spends some time analyzing the video to see if the lip sync will actually work. When that's done, you'll be able to upload an audio file with the voice. I've got a couple ready here. If the audio file is longer than the video, it does give you the option to crop the audio to fit inside the duration of the video. I actually don't want to crop the audio, so let's remove this file and upload a shorter one. Then just hit the lip sync button and the AI will start the process. It's gonna say you need to wait for up to 10 minutes. For me, I found that a lot of the times it doesn't actually take that long. Most of the time it'll finish in five minutes or so. Here's what the final result gives us. The lip sync is crisp and realistic, and it looks very natural. If you look carefully at the lips and teeth, there is some very slight blurring. Someone might still be able to tell that it's AI generated, but they would have to look closely. If you're not happy with the results or want to try a different audio file, you can use this redub button down here to re-upload your audio and try again. The great thing about the lip sync is that it can work on action shots with a lot more going on in the background. So you're probably wondering how I ended up here. This is messed up. By the way, make sure to subscribe if you want more updates like this. I know you're also wondering, how does this work for different animation styles? 3D animations can work well with all kinds of different characters. As long as the human head is visible, the lip sync can be used, even when the head is facing different directions and moving around a little bit. As long as the lips are visible in the video, this will work. The ability to lip sync even when the head is turning quickly side to side is really impressive. Now, as far as anime style videos are concerned, you can use a lip sync on them, but the results won't be as good as 3D or photorealistic videos. You can use lip sync in a variety of different animation styles like anime videos, but the lips won't match the words as well and the animation can be choppy. To get the best results, you'll want to make sure that the characters don't move their head around too much in the videos. To do this, try using prompts with words like subtle motion or static camera, or just directly prompt for a person to be speaking. As of recording this video, the lip sync feature still has a lot of situations where it doesn't work. I've got a 3D water elemental animation here, and the AI says it can't detect a consistent face inside the video. So the lip sync is really meant for humanoid faces. I also tried this hybrid dog human just to see what would happen, and I get the same error with a face not being detected. One cool thing about the lip sync feature is that it can be used on videos with multiple people or characters in them. If there are multiple faces, the software will choose one of them to dub. However, there isn't a way to control which character actually does the lip sync. I tried to use a female voice for this video with both a man and a woman, hoping that it would animate the woman speaking. But the lip sync still happens to the man. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be a way to choose which face gets dubbed. If you're curious how I got the AI voices, I used Eleven Labs. It's a really easy way to get AI voice narration and it's free to try. Just pick a voice from the huge library and then add in your text and the AI will create a voiceover for you. It's really nice to have lip sync available inside the clean platform. It's just much more convenient when all the different tools you'll want to use are in the same place. If you want to learn about how to get the highest quality videos using Kling AI, go take a look at this video I made over here.